past like where's the focus at like think about the challenge of anything we do in life yeah when would it get done when people feel like getting it done how you gonna be the same person requesting new situations we got people out here asking to do this and do that and do this they can't wait till they get the new job but you the same person that lost the last job you can't wait till you get that new man but you the same person that lost the last five men. Fact. You done lost five men in a row. But that neck, that sixth man is going to make you a different person. Until you address your situation. Until you address your scenario. Where we come from, ain't no mirrors in the hood. Because nobody want to see their reflection. Mm. They don't want to feel that they the reason. They the cause. They the cause for what's going on right now. We getting it in. Late night. Putting in that work. If I ask somebody right now to come work out with us, what we gonna get? We gonna get a no. I got work in the morning. I got work. I got shit to do. I got things to do. I got places to be. But you tell me where that same energy go. That's where we live by. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. When you wanna be somebody in life, keep that same energy. So that same energy, you wanna get something accomplished when it comes down to putting in a workout. Why is there no limits? Mm. Why do we put limits on success? Why does success has a time frame? People that tell you success has a time frame. You tell somebody they want a job and you give them a schedule that they not willing to work. They no longer want a job. Oh, nah, nah. I want a job, but I want a job between the hours that's perfect for me. I want to work out, but I want to work out between hours that's perfect for me. You ask somebody right now why they not in shape. They're going to tell you they don't got the time. They're going to tell you they ain't got the time, but you know what's interesting about that? I don't remember slaves having time. Mm. I don't remember slaves having a choice. I don't remember slaves being able to call out. I don't remember slaves being able to not make it. So you look at where we came from as people and you ask yourself, where the direction we headed in? Because at the end of the day, all you should be trying to do is please the ancestors of the people behind you. You should be trying to figure out a way. We can't please them in no shape, form, or fashion. But what I can tell you is we not going through no struggle in this generation. It's easy work. It's easy work. We live to see a black president. Every sport, everything you look at, top black people, we running shit right now. So why you can't put the most effort you've ever put into it? Because we soft. We soft. And this generation is soft. And everything we got going on is soft. And we can master what we got. We can put in the effort and figure out a way to get it done. Because if I call you at the same club, it's New York City right here. Let's go out here and let's find how many people party until 4 o'clock in the morning. Why they can't work out at 4 o'clock in the morning? Why they can't go read that book at 4 o'clock in the morning? Why you can't put that same effort and energy into bettering yourself at the same time that you could spend that effort and energy destroying yourself? Because you ain't getting nothing out of a club. We going to have a good time in a club? I'm sure. I'm sure. But you got to put that same energy into developing yourself and bettering yourself. That same energy got to somehow be manifested because the only people want to do is work hard. They only want to do what's going to make them enjoy life more. They ain't going to do what they got to do to make life better in the long run. Mm. So you look at it as same person, new situation. Same people seeking new situations. But at the end of the day, if your character can't keep you there, you could get the baddest girl in the world. You could get the Beyonce, but do you got the character to contain and keep her happy? Do you got the character to contain and keep that job happy? Your talent is going to take you anywhere it want to. I come from Patterson where everybody talented. It's no character. No character, bro. Everybody's talented. But whose character is keeping them there? Nice. We've all gotten to the top. Who's staying there? Who going to put in the time? Who going to put in the sacrifice? Who going to put in the effort? Who going to master their craft and going to do everything they got to do. And they going to go to war every single day to make sure that they holding on to that title. Because it's easy to get the title. Ask Floyd. Floyd kept the title for 21 years. That's no, that's, that, Hove. Hove been on top since 1996. What are we talking about? No accident. No accident. No accident. And like you just said, it's no accident on success. No accident on success. I tell people all the time. You can always, you can make yourself accidentally broke 
by not being purposefully rich. Mm. If you don't live to be purposefully rich, you will find yourself accidentally broke. If you don't make it purposeful to be healthy, what you gonna become? Accidentally sick. That's why life gotta be so intentional. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta have intent on every single thing you do to get what you want out of this life. Cause we only get one. We get one shot at this. We get one. And you gotta make that dash count. It's a date between a date and it's a dash in the middle. That's all you get. The date we got, it already started. The date that is going in, we don't know. So the one thing we control is the dash in the middle. What I'm doing right now partakes in a dash in the middle. The dash in the middle is the most important part of this entire civilization. That's all we can control is what we do with the dash in the middle. And you couldn't be doing that dash if you was the same you you was five years ago. No way. No way. Hey, most listen. People that tell you when a new phone come out, they want the new phone. The new camera come out, they want the new camera. I can't even wear this hat if a new hat come out next week. Because I got to upgrade to the new hat. Somebody going to tell me, oh, he wild and he got the old hat. He tripping, he got the old hat. So why people could upgrade every single thing in life but they self? Mm. You the same dude from eighth grade. You the same dude from high school. And I can speak to that point because there's been points in my life where I've been the same dude and I challenge myself. I come, I'm speaking from experience. I'm not speaking down on nobody. I'm speaking from experience from the fact that I've been that guy. I've put designer ahead of growth. Mm. You know when I changed? When I stopped looking at Louis Belts and I figured out what's the best book I could read. I start asking a, 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 a somebody successful. I stopped asking them what they was wearing. I asked them what they was reading. Mm. What you reading? Who you listening to? What you focusing on? What podcast you bumping? I stopped trying to figure out a way to look rich and I figured out a way to be rich. I stopped figuring out a way to look important and I figured out a way to be important. Mm. Because at the end of the day, that's where we come from. You could put a thousand dollars of clothes on and you could go work at any little fucking retail store you want to work at. That's not going to make you nobody. Mm -hmm. That's not going to make you a better person. So when you look at you survive. that's it. So you look at it, the challenge is how to become a new person a new person sometimes in the same situation you may be at a job you don't like but you gotta level up and be a new person in that situation you may be in a relationship you don't like but you gotta be a new person in that same situation and stop trying to be the same person in a new situation seeking that that's gonna be the thing that's gonna get you over the hump Oh, that's the thing that's going to get me to over hump. A new, new boyfriend. How many boyfriends you need for you figure out is you? How many girlfriends you need before you figure out is you? How many jobs you need before you figure out is you? Because a lot of people are destination addicts. You know uh, uh, what I'm saying? It's always in the destination, never about the journey. Right. They figure they're always going to chase happiness in the next thing, but it's never going to be, all right, well, I'm going to use that thing as a stepping stone. Right. But my happiness comes from me. Right, right. My success is me. Right, because it's never about the process. Hey, the craziest thing I ever heard, Motion. Everybody likes sausage. Nobody like how they made. Mm. Nobody want to hear how sausage is made, but everybody love them. And that's kind of what life is about. Nobody want to discuss how things are done. Everybody loves the outcome. And it's not about the outcome, it's about the process. When you fall in love with the process, you push the outcome aside because the outcome is not going to make you anything different. The outcome is just what you've earned from your process. That's the only thing. Exactly. You've earned that from your process, but without falling in love with processes, where would we be? As a people, where would we be if the slaves didn't fall in love with the process? And I don't mean a process of being a slave. I mean a process of the fight. They never gave up. They never gave up. And you look at what we go through day to day, people giving up. People giving up. And Fold. Folding. Sacrificing hundreds of years of slavery for us to get a chance to quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit. And that's what the goal needs to be with all our people. We should not quit. We should not fold. You should try to figure out how to be a new person in every situation you got. Every time you get an opportunity, 
make it the fucking best opportunity you can make it. Drive yourself the furthest you can drive because this is all you got. All you got is a dash. What you saving it for? What you holding on to? What you got next? What is it, a part two? Who, who, who life got a sequel? I ain't seen a sequel yet. You get one. You get one. So you get one shot to be whoever you want to be on this planet. And can't nobody stop you, can't nobody coerce you, can't nobody slow you down. The only person that can stop you is you, is the person in control of you. And most people try to use somebody beside them as a scapegoat to why they can't be successful. Thanks. There's no scapegoats in this success. You chose that. You made that choice to bring that person in your life. Energy, energy is important. Energy is important. You can't get rid of energy. Energy is transferable. Nice. So you telling me one thing, either it's negative energy or positive mm -hmm. energy. It's only two types, that's it. Either that person making you better or they making you worse. Either they making you happy or they making you mad. Energy is only transferable. It does not go away. Mm. It does not go away. For everybody that's gonna sit here and tell us that it's an even level. It's no even level. You getting better or you getting worse. It's no static. You cannot be stable on this planet. Either you getting better or you getting worse. And that's what people who constantly want to grow understand is that we're not taking no breaks. We're not taking no days off. We're not. We Listen. Listen. This is our time. You don't understand. This is our time. We get one time. And this is our time. This is never what you do. You get a turn at life. It's never our life. It's our turn. It's our turn. And I look at life like, if, it, if this is our turn, I'm gonna make the most of it. If this is my turn at life, I'm gonna make the most of it. That's all. That's how we gonna look at what we do. That's how we gonna frame up how hard we gonna go, is that if this is our turn, I'm gonna make the most of it. You probably looking at it. You probably looking at it from a perspective like, well, who is he to say this? Who is he to say what he's saying? But if you seen Dark Knight, Bane said, it don't matter who I am. All that matters is my plan. Mm. All that matters is my plan. Because at some points in life, you got to put that mask on. Mm. It's portions of life where you got to put that mask on. And you got to become something different. To get to a level you've mm. never been at. To get to a level you've been at, you never been at, you got to be somebody else. Mm. And most part, and the majority of people is not willing to go through that. You're not willing to kill that old person. You want that old person to survive. Every time that old person creep up from inside of you, you letting them live. It's that old person that's making you not show up to work. It's that old person that's sitting on Facebook all day. It's that old person. And what you doing? You making that old person a bigger person. One thing I learned in life. It's two type of wolves. It's two. And they on both shoulders. They on both shoulders. It's two type of wolves. They say the positive wolf and the negative wolf. The wolf that's telling you to get up and go to the gym and do what you got to do. And it's the wolf that's telling you, yo, you ain't got to do all that. You just got to do what you got to do and be who you got to be. Nah. The wolf that's telling you we could make six figures, we could be millionaires, we could drive the cars that they drive, and it's the wolf that's telling you, be easy. Let's get drunk tonight. Be easy. Let's roll up tonight. And they ask you, well, what wolf wins? What wolf wins? Um, like anything in life, it's the wolf you feed. The wolf you feed is gonna win. Wherever you put your life, wherever you spend your energy. Wherever you give your time, that's the wolf that's going to win in life. So you can't look at anybody's situation as they more successful than you or less successful than you. They fed that wolf. They fed the right wolf. And that's how we look at any situation. You supposed to be feeding the right wolf. Where we come from, we don't have no opportunity. So we got to make the best of it. We got to make the most of it. We got to grind the hardest. We got to be the smartest. We got to be the fastest. We can't take no losses. That's how we supposed to act where we come from. So just understand that and know that you cannot be the same person in a new situation. You got to bring a new person to a new situation. You got to bring a new person to the same situation. But you can never, ever be the same person in a new situation. Because every single time, you're going to have to put that mask on and you're going to have to take it to a new level. A level that you ain't prepared to, but you got to be able to make sure you're uncomfortable. 
Because to get something you never had, you gotta do something you never done. And if you don't understand that, you ain't deserve it in the first place. You belong where you at. I feel like I belong on the top, so I'm gonna challenge myself every single chance I get.